We are in front of Eversys factory and in this video we'll show you how they make their espresso machines here in Switzerland. So follow me. We'll take you on a tour through the whole space from research and development, design and technical room to building Eversys espresso machines from scratch. But of course, we started with coffee. Hello! Hi, Hanesh. Welcome to Eversys. Thank you, thank you. Uh, where are we right now? Uh, we are in the middle of the building, so it's a showroom. Uh, I like to start here because I can show all our product line and also the company history. My name is Jonathan Bess and I am uh, R&D director at uh, Eversys. We are based in Switzerland, in the Valley, so it's in, in the middle of the Swiss Alps. And behind me you have the new production hall that we are just opening. And our original production here. So Jean-Paul in Albon and Robert Bircher founded Eversys in 2009. Their motivation was to really focus on espresso extraction and espresso quality. That was the, the earth of the company and of the machine is how can we extract as good espresso as good traditional coffee machine with a, a barista. Eversys is between full automatic uh, coffee machine and traditional coffee machine. And we are in an area that uh, not everybody can go because you need to bring the automation for the full automatic and the high coffee quality for the traditional world together in a product. The original concept is two groups in 56 cm. So the two groups are here. Here it's a large steam boiler and you can have a mill system in front and that's really the original E4 concept that is the Enigma now is everything is two groups machine in 56 uh, cm. Then there is Cameo model that launched in 2017 that has a lower profile, traditional C-shaped body and newly designed coffee outlet with the same tech inside. Latest edition is Legacy model launched in 2023 that we will follow from design process to assembling and testing later in this video. Now let's stick with the key principles. We want a machine that is able to replace a good traditional coffee machine. Uh, that was always our, our quality target. So we didn't really compare ourselves to full automatic coffee machine, we always compare ourselves to, to traditional coffee machine. And how we build the machine is really to mimic what a barista do to, to really get the best out of the, of the coffee. As we learned, Eversys was founded by engineers trying to achieve the best possible espresso quality. So we first went to visit research and development team to see if the engineering spirit remains. So we go in the R&D department, see the team we have in here, that is a mechanical development team. Uh, we also have uh, half of the team that is in Münzingen that develop electronic hardware and software. So that's our, our 3D printing labs. Uh, we do most of the prototype internally. Here you have uh, 3D printers, uh, two different types. So resin 3D printers, so for liquid, uh, the parts are built to a very high precision and uh, this type of uh, printer, they, they print out of a filament, like here to build uh, larger parts like support or structure. Before we had to wait a week to get a rapid prototyping, uh, currently we wait a night. Here I want to show you the powder analyzer. So we are doing a lot of work on the burst. The grinder is very important, you have seen the test bench also in production and that's an equipment we have since three years to really work uh, in details on the burst and, and grind quality, grind size adjustment and, and everything. Here we enter the, the main R&D workshop where we are really uh, assembling module, machine and realize also part of, uh, of uh, functional testing uh, here. So what you see will be a machine halfly disassembled with a computer to log data or to run the machine. We have three project team. One is working only on existing product so product improvement, new options, uh, and, and everything linked to that. Uh, we have one team working on the legacy machine and one team working on the machine. So we have three development teams and continuous development and improvement of the existing product is as important uh, as developing new product. From engineering team, we slowly moved to design team led by Alexander. He woke us through the process of designing legacy model in what he described as true design. Design is halfway between the art and the science, between styling and engineering. Here we do true design. By true design, I mean that at the beginning, at the eve of every new project, we work hand by hand with the development team. Instead of doing a box and filling the box with all the necessary items, to make the coffee. We started with all these items, the grinders, brewing chamber, steamer and all this. And then we've been building around this, the mm -hmm. machine. That's what we call 
designed from inside out. Mm -hmm. This model here was actually the first model of the Legacy. It just made out of cardboard. Uh -huh. Sketch can look very attractive, beautiful, but then you kind of lack, you know, the dimension. You lack the strength, the volume of the machine. So after the stage of the, of the model, which was made out of cardboard, we go to the stage here to, to refine very quickly. And then you go to the final rendering, which is done with a graphical uh, tablet. This is actually the final frame of the Legacy. Mm -hmm. Every part of the machine has a reason. Mm -hmm. So this is the beauty side. And here you have the technical part. So then we have this model here, which is completely made as a prototype of uh, aluminum. And here we can really check all the, you know, the feasibility. We can do a lot of tests, of course, on that very model. Now that we know how the legacy model was designed and engineered, we move to the production hall where the espresso machine is assembled from 600 single parts to fully functioning machine that is tested, packed and shipped to the customer. A logistic deliver here really single parts. So here at this step we go for single parts to sub-modules. Uh, and the sub-modules are really linked to a function. So we have grinder modules, we have hydraulic modules to do the hot water for the coffee, we have brewing modules uh, and we have milk module and pump module. So here is the, the chassis assembly, that's the top part of the machine uh, mm -hmm. here. So it's in four parts, two lateral, one top, one down, and then you build the full chassis. So that's what is delivered by the, the supplier. And then we have an assembly step. Then on this line, the four parts will uh, come together. Okay, so these are the all four parts yeah. of the chassis. That's uh, the all four parts of the chassis connected. And here you have uh, electronic, uh, some valve, wiring harness. So it's ready to accommodate the, the different modules. Then we have what they call the sushi bar. <laughs> It's to produce a central module of the machine. Mm -hmm. okay. The legacy can have up to four grinders. The customer can choose how many grinders he needs. Uh, so it's a two grinder machine with a milk module. This is a four grinder machine with a milk module. Here it's a, the assembly uh, area for the grinder with a grinder test bench. Uh, we are measuring motor torque, motor speed. We have a 3D camera that will pop out and measure the, if the grinder is rotating flat or not. Some geometry details on the burst. So then everything come together uh, and we start to have a fully functional machine that they will test here. All modules are tested separately, but uh, we run uh, like a final test to be sure everything is connected well. Our Legacy, that's the first machine, we have a full cardboard packaging. Nobody wanted to do a cardboard packaging for a 70 kilo machine, but that will become our standard for the new packaging, also for the other product line. And then here they will uh, finalize the packaging and put it on, on pallets. One thing is to design and build a machine. Another thing is to keep it brewing coffee without any problems. The maintenance was important for Eversys from the very beginning and it manifests itself in telemetry and modular design. You bring a very good product to the market. But if you cannot get information on how the product is performing and really be sure there is a good maintenance, then your customer is not happy. So that's really start from, from that point. So what we do, we have our machine connected to our server and they are able to send a lot of different types of data from error message to uh, uh, product statistic to really what happened when you produce an espresso. You know around 20 parameters when you do a coffee and another 20 when you do a milk product. My name is Jeff Marks, I'm the technical manager for Eversys in Sierra. Every machine in the world has an individual ID. And what Eversys has given its, its distributors is the power to keep machines online all the time. That the customer, that we can repair faults without having to send a technician and that the machine is always producing coffee. To better understand how easily you can connect and update the machine, we asked Jeff to create and push our custom coffee recipe to the Cameo in the showroom. We have a list of machines that are online connected in this building and in other buildings. And if we access it, we can directly see uh, the screen. And now we can inject a new coffee product for the European coffee trip. Okay. Your product is here. It's now the product and the machine is already there. So if you come to Eversys to have a coffee, you can pick the coffee trip. 
<laughs> okay, so let's try it out. Let's take a big cup. And... You can see how quickly it's activated from 30 seconds being at the, at the computer to being live on, on a machine. We are nearby, right? Like, yeah. so it doesn't make that, like, that wow, but like, if you can do that to the espresso machine that is like in other part of the world. We can see filter coffee, you produced it at 2 11 p.m. And we can see our grinding time was accurate with our espresso product. So our base product, it's accurate. The cake nominal or the cake thickness is the 23 millimeters we set and the extraction time water temperature. We designed the product for serviceability. One key element is everything can be accessed from the front. You don't need to access from the side or from the back. So that means you don't need to move the machine to do a service. So we're going to open the machine. When we speak about the modular system, we don't need any tools. Everything is in, included in the machine. And in one module, we have the complete brewing system. We can access different areas of the machine and I can directly remove the grinding module. And here we have the two grinders and the grinder motor. The steam boiler and the milk module. The hydraulic boiler and the valve assembly. And we can remove it also. Now we have a machine chassis with the CPUs inside, nothing else. The power of Eversys is that you can replace a module as you can see very quickly and diagnose the fault within that module away from the end user, which means that they're up and operating much faster, their, their uptime is, is much uh, faster and, and they can produce coffee again. I mean, yeah, I, yeah that's a huge surprise. <laughs> I, I, uh... I mean, I understood it's sim I mean, relatively simple. There are the modules, but like that is possible to do it in like, yeah, like a few minutes. In a few minutes, yeah. And to bring it there, out and, and in. Wow, that's really cool. Details matter and that's uh, really complex to master and you really need to go and work on these details. You need to really have a company willing to do it. And it's really willing to spend time on these details that for me makes a difference compared to to other product, particularly where we are positioned with this uh, high quality extraction quality uh, and uh, high productivity. That's really uh, okay. Okay, so that was Eversys. We learned a lot. We hope that you did too, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>